everybody. So I'm going to read you a story today called Big Bear Little Brother. On the ice with the wind blowing gently, Big Bear stopped running. How wonderful it was to be still, to close his eyes, to dream. <clears throat> Suddenly, he heard a cry from the cliff above. Who was it? Was it a hunter? He looked up quickly. A child was tumbling through the sky, just like a snowflake. He must have slipped and fallen. He'd be crushed on the hard ice. Big Bear ran, dived. The little boy trembled when he realised where he had landed. Don't be scared, said Big Bear. He put the boy down and started on his way. But soon he heard a voice behind him. Wait, I'm Minnick. I'm coming with you. They walked side by side until they reached an ice bridge. Then Big Bear went ahead, slowly, carefully, to make sure the ice was thick enough. Minnick followed him trustingly. After a while, he said, I like being with you. You protect me. Will you be my big brother? Big Bear laughed. How can I be your big brother? We're much too different. Minnick led Big Bear to the edge of the water and they leant down to stare at themselves. Look, said Minnick, we're not that different. We look just like each other when we smile. <clears throat> well, maybe, said Big Bear, but I'm much taller than you. Minnick climbed on a mound of snow. Not anymore, you're not, he laughed. Now I'm taller than you. But I can be terrifying, said Big Bear. To prove it, he growled loudly. Rawr. Minnick climbed down, pretended he was a fearsome pirate and shouted in his loudest voice, I'm not scared of you. Big Bear laughed. But I'm much faster than you, he said. He started to run, then he slid onto his back. Minnick jumped on and together they skidded quickly over the ice. Look, I'm as fast as you, Minnick cried. Now watch me do some things I'm really good at, said Minnick. He danced, juggled a snowball and walked on his hands. Big Bear tried to copy him. You're right that we're different, laughed Minnick, but we don't have to be the same to be brothers, do we? Big Bear didn't reply. He had sensed a storm approaching. We must go, he said. Walk close to me as quickly as you can. My body will protect you from the wind. The wind raged and heavy snow fell. Don't be afraid, Big Bear shouted. I'll take you home, little brother. As the storm grew more violent, Minnick became exhausted. Twice he stumbled and almost fell. Eventually he stopped. He could go no further. Big Bear growled against the storm, but the wind drowned him out. Minnick began to grow faint, so Big Bear pulled him in close desperately trying to warm him. Just then, a bright light shone in front of them. Headlights! A man appeared on a sled. Big Bear stopped dead. This must be a hunter, and he was angry. But Minnick threw himself in front of Big Bear. Now it's my turn to protect you, Big Brother, he said. Then suddenly, Minnick ran towards the hunter. It's Daddy, he shouted. Daddy, stop. It's okay. Big Bear is my brother. He saved my life. Minnick, my little boy, cried his father. I've looked everywhere for you. Are you all right? Minnick didn't reply. He had seen Big Bear turning to leave. Wait, Big Brother, he cried. He ran to him and held him tight. Goodbye, Big Brother, he said. I'll never forget you and you'll live in my heart forever, little brother.
said Big Bear. Minnick, le Minnick left on his father's sled, turning to watch Big Bear as he disappeared into the distance. The storm had died down as quickly as it had come. Minnick listened to the wind, now blowing gently. How wonderful it was to be still, to close his eyes, to dream. And that's the end of the story.